Hi, with this video I would like to show you how easy it is with IronCAD to design a fully customized hardware starting from scratch and how to integrate it later into your virtual hardware library and automatically generate the necessary programs for your CNC machine. Let's start by using IronCAD's feature uh, shapes by dropping a block into our scene. This will be the top part of my plate and I just need to set the dimensions of this block to represent the top plate. Let's proceed further by dropping a second block and this block I'm going to shape it for a while because I would like it to be fit to slipping my fingers into the handle properly. So I'm going to start orienting my uh, new block uh, with the tribal. I'm going to set the dimensions. For example, the depth would be equal to 50 millimeters. The length would be equal to the top plate minus, let's say, 10 millimeters. And the width of this should be, let's say, about 50 uh, millimeter. And that's precisely what I'm, I have done right here. Now I need to make my hardware a little more sexy and more comfortable, uh, most of all for my fingers. So I'm going to edit the cross section of the second block by using the sketch section tools. And I'm just going to draw an arc uh, and trim the two other uh, curves. Well, that's it. Now this is how my hardware looks like. I'm going to hide now the top plate and I'm going to use a very sexy function of Iron Cat that lets me uh, shell the part. Uh, it's, it makes that very comfortable for my fingers later. I display the top plate again and now I'm going to drop an edge block uh, onto the top plate just to cut uh, the way for my fingers. So it, it, it's just uh, very easy to do this and I'm going to pull the handles like both handles and to pull the handle and set the dimensions uh, equal for example to my under part and make the uh, width uh, smaller in order to make uh, the hardware very comfortable for the fingers. Having uh, hidden what I, I don't need at the moment I just drop a third block on my top part and I'm going to set, to set the dimension of this uh, block again and it will be a little bigger, uh, deeper and wider than my second block because this block is going to uh, route my pocket into my panel later. Having done this, I'm going to rename the block to HW Drill. This is a keyword that uh, will later be interpreted by the CAM automatically and it will generate the appropriate routing. Now I'm going to uh, drop a cylinder on my top plate. I set the cross dimension at 5 mm and make the length uh, 13 mm. I'm going to move it with the tri-ball for about, uh, let's say, 10 mm or so. And I'm going to assign to this cylinder a single hole, uh, so a drilling feature. I'm going to drop the single hole feature here. I set the dimensions a little wider for 6 mm diameter instead of 5. And the uh, depth should be equal to my panel thickness plus uh, 1 mm. So it goes through, the drilling goes through the, the panel. And I set it to suppress mode. In order to fix my uh, hardware to the door, I'm just going to drop now a screw, a 3 mm diameter for example. I'm going to move the screw with the tribal up to the top plate and then pull it uh, 18 mm, which is equal to my uh, door panel. So it is correctly placed on the, on the door. I'm going now to mirror my cylinder. And it's very easy with Iron Cat. I just use my tribal, I set it to the white shape, center on the center point of a one edge, and this make, gives me the axis of my mirror. And I just need to right click mirror copy, and automatically I get a mirror copy of my cylinder. 
and I'm going to do the same for the other features making part of it I mean the screw and and the single hole and I'm going to select now all the three parts and make an assembly because I, I just need one hardware and not and not three different hardware it's just one piece and I rename it my uh, handle that's it my hardware is almost finished and ready for uh, use I'm just going to make it a little more sexy by setting a chamfer around it and I'm going to set a nice uh, copper uh, color my hardware is almost finished now I can save it into my virtual library of hardware or simply drop it into my YouTube catalog now I'm going to check if I have uh, worked properly. I drop my hardware on my front door, use the tri ball and rotate it, and move it again to place it where I want it to be uh, positioned. I need in the left side, in the strict, in the tree, I need to make it upward to make it part of the cabinet. And now I'm ready to apply drill function. So it's going to compute and calculate the drilling for my hardware. And indeed, I can see here that everything seems to be fine. I'm going to check the back side of the front door. And this is fantastic. I just love that I have my two little screws. Now it's time to send it to the CNC machine. Thanks to our automatic cam, woodlap cam, I can see here that effectively I have the pocket and I have the two drillings for the two little screws. This is the end. I thank you for your attention and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are interested by our CADCAM system, do not hesitate to call me or send an email.